Grade 5 Math, number 9.6. Problem solving, find a pattern rule. We want to solve simpler problems to find our pattern, pattern rule. Remember, when doing word problems, choosing a strategy is very important. You can act it out, draw a diagram, make a table or chart, solve a simpler problem, and break it down, which is what we're going to try this time, or you could guess and check and revise your guess. Emma is sewing the bridesmaid's dresses for her cousin's wedding. <gasps> she needs two and a half yards of fabric for each skirt part and a half a yard of fabric for each bodice part. That's the top part. How many yards of fabric will she need to buy? Well, what do we need to find? We need to find the total yards of fabric. What information do we need to use? Well, that she needs two and a half yards for the skirt part and a half a yard for each bodice and how many bridesmaids there are. How will we use the information? We'll figure out how many yards for one dress and multiply that by the number of bridesmaids. We're going to break the problem into simpler parts. So there's the dress, there's the bodice, the half yard, and the skirt that's two and a half yards. And then here's the chart we were able to make. So for one bridesmaid, she needs a half a yard for the bodice and two and a half yards for the skirt. That's a total of three yards. For two bridesmaids, she'd need one yard because a half and a half is one, and she'd need five yards for the skirt because two and a half and two and a half is five. And then we can just double the total yards, see? If one is three yards, then two is six. Or we could just multiply the whole thing by six for six bridesmaids and know that we need 18 yards, see? Two and a half times five is 15. Because if we turn the two and a half into an improper fraction, it becomes five halves. See, two times two is four, plus the one numerator is five over two. And that's the same thing, five over two, five halves times six is the same thing as five times six over two. See, we put the five and the six over the two. That equals 30 over two, and that is 15. See, we got 15. So that was pretty simple. We were able to just figure out what she needed for one, and then we were able to quickly figure out what she needed for six. See? All right, here's a menu. A hamburger with fries is $5 and a soda is two. Bob is buying lunch for himself plus three friends. If they each got a hamburger, fry, and soda, how much money would Bob need? Well, what do we need to find? We need to find the cost of food for four people, see, for himself and three friends. What info do we need? We need the prices on the menu and the number of people. And how will we use the inf information? We'll solve for one. That's solving a simple problem and breaking it down, and then we'll multiply it by four. So one order of hamburger and fries is five dollars and the soda is two. So that means a meal for one person is seven dollars. If there's four people, we just multiply the seven times four and we get twenty-eight dollars. Alright? So that's how we can solve for a simpler problem and use that information to help us solve the overall problem. Very easy, isn't it? See you next video. Bye.